Hello everyone, Jasper Agler here from vbolton.com and today I wanted to show you how to quickly back up your files in database via cPanel and how to transfer the backup to your local host computer and cPanel according to Wikipedia is a quote Unix based web hosting control panel that provides a graphical interface and automation tool designed to simplify the process of hosting a website unquote and it is the most widely used web hosting control panel used by uh, many web hosting companies. It is a very efficient and very easy to use program. And I will show you how to utilize it to back up your precious data. Because uh, backing up your database is a valuable knowledge, uh, knowledge that is always, 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 and did I say always, a requirement for anyone with serious website development intentions. And no webmaster wishes to have their precious data erased especially if it's a form where a lot of data is being generated. So let's begin. Okay, so I'm on my cPanel account right now. And here I'll just find and click on backups. And after, I'll click on generate download a full backup. And here it will ask you where you want the backup to be located and which email you want to notify when the backup is done. So except for the email, address section you really don't need to feel uh, fill anything out here so just click on generate backup and wait for it to process and depending on how much data you have it might take a while but since I have a small database it only took seconds and you should receive a confirmation email once the backup is complete and then afterwards all you have to do is click on the link and download the database to your local host computer and that's it you've successfully backed up all your files and database so before I end this tutorial I'd, I'd just like to say that it's always a good idea idea to see if a uh, backup worked and is not corrupted so I suggest restoring the backup into a test installation of a vBulletin website and seeing if it works so anyways if you've enjoyed this video tutorial please subscribe and check back for more we will constantly add new videos to our channel enjoy